Right, folks, here's a weird one for you. It's for all you racing fans. I've had a couple of people message me on the email or the, 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 the channel email over the last 24 hours on about a story that was in the press yesterday. You may have heard about it, about Jeff Banks, the bookmaker. You may or may not. I'll cover it in a moment. I was going to do it anyway, but they both said it's a good one to air on the channel. Um, and it comes on the back of the story that one of the uh, viewers sent in the comment section last night. I'm going to read that to you later tonight or tomorrow if I find it, surely. It came yesterday. Um, but yeah, in case you've not heard about it, Jeff Banks is complaining. He said uh, one of his pitches there over the last few days has paid out on a winner. He said, I think he said the winner was something like five to two. And whoever won on it put like 100 quid on. So with the state back, they should have been getting, what, three and a half hundred quid back. Anyway, he said, at the, as well as that, somebody had put a grand, I think he said, on the same horse. And the, it, it, did he say a grand? I think, yeah, a grand. And I said, it went up five to two, so they'd do like three and a half grand. Anyway, the guy that I put the hundred quid on came back and he said in earshot of the, the guy that was settling, that's three and a half grand. And the guy said, what? He said, no, I'm just telling someone I've won three and a half grand. And the guy that's settling, somehow, I don't know how they do this, it's all computerised, has paid him as though he's put a grand on, as opposed to a hundred quid. So he's given him ten times more than he should. And the guy took the three and a half grand, put it in his skyrocket and left. A short while later, the guy that settled realises he settled the wrong ticket. He's paid him sort of ten times what he should have done and feels absolutely awful. He's had to go to his boss and say, boss, this is what I've done. I can't believe I've done it. He said, but I don't know what made me do it. I mean, I'm not very deeply into it, but he said, all, the, all Jeff Banks is saying, he said, all I can think of is the guy that's put the hundred quid on has been in a line with the other guy that's put the grand on and he's come and claimed it as though he's put the grand on took the money and ran and then no doubt the guy who's put the grand on has come for his winnings a, a few minutes later and they think but what about we've already paid out obviously they've not so they've had to pay twice and old Jeff is saying it's just wrong it's morally wrong I can't understand it he said the thing is there used to be an honour about this game it was all us against them the bookmakers against the punters he said and you know we wanted to beat one another but we were fair, honest and decent with one another. And I, for one, understand that. I get where it's coming from. He said the guy that's done the runner should not have took the money. He said it's just corrupt and it's wrong and he should feel awful about himself. Anyway, he's put it on social media platforms. Is it Twitter? I don't know where he's put it. I believe it's had nigh on a million views. And many people have uh, messaged him in the negative. I think along the lines of, ha, 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 ha. It's about time something happened to one of you folk and uh, good on the guy that's done the runner. And he can't believe people are taking it that way. Now, what I'll say is this, because the couple of people that messaged me, messaged me about it, and I think both are probably going to be thinking, I'm going to be saying, oh, great for the punter. One of them's definitely going to be thinking that, because one of them messaged me, said he'd had a few quid off, uh, I think, I'm sure he told me he'd had a few quid off a Rails bookmaker a few years ago now. But the same fellow said, he said, I've also had some dodgy notes, notes that are foreign, that I couldn't cash that weren't legal tender, and they've wrapped it up in winning notes, and I've got home, and I've found I'm, I'm, I'm out of pocket. You can't take it back to them and change them, because, you know, they'll claim it's not theirs, and he said, I've had that done to me. But I, I read the story, and, and, and I can't say I felt sorry for Jeff Banks, because, like, three grand out of his skyrocket isn't going to hurt him, isn't going to bother him at all, I wouldn't have thought. But I can understand what he's saying, it's moral, moral, morally wrong, I can understand it, I can't say it, I can't get it out, but I can understand it. But the problem here, Jeff, is, is this, and, and it's nothing to do with yourself, really. It's nothing to do with your fellow Rails bookmakers. It's down to bookmakers in general. And when I say bookmakers in general, I don't think of you guys on the rails. I don't even think of a guy that's working behind the counter in a Fred Doan shop or a Willie Mills shop or anything like that. I just think of the bookmakers themselves. The Willie Mills, the Labbrooks, the 365 and all these, these massive conglomerates. They do not care about punters. You're talking about honour in betting. It was there many years ago. It was like the shake of a hand. You couldn't rely on it. It isn't that way anymore. They don't let folk get a bet on. Well, they start with, they'll let you put as many bets on as you want and let you lose as much as you can afford to lose them more. But if you start winning, they'll limit your account. You don't have to win ever, you just have to win. But if you win on a regular basis, they'll limit your account. And if it carries on, they just close your account. It's not like it was... Maybe if you're GP, you can come to the rails at Cheltenham and get 20, 30, 50, 100 grand on. I know for a fact he had it on with a well-known bookmaker only about a year and a half ago at Cheltenham had 50 grand on an horse. That wasn't on the rails, that was bet three months before the off. Luckily it went down and my horse beat it. But I know that because I know somebody that works there. 
But at the end of the day, you've got to be high profile like that to get the big bets on. And that's another thing. Many punters say they used to get good amounts of money on on the rails and can't get a bet on anymore. I've seen bookmakers on the rails where they've refused this and that. Well, they never used to do that. So you have got punters now falling out with all bookmakers, including rails. But your biggest problem is your conglomerates. They don't care a toss about any of us. They do not care. They'll put people in the poorhouse. They'll have people losing their homes. They'll have people hanging themselves. They'll do all of that. That's one end of it. They're the problem gamblers. But the other end of it, the end where, where folks have a chance of winning and want to try to win, it's, a, it's an unfair playing field because they just will not let you win. And they'll use the old, well, we don't have to take the bets if we want to take them, but we don't have to. No, they don't. They say, what business is going to lose money? No, they are. I get that. But they'll take more bets than people can afford that have got no money and that are beg, borrowing, ceiling to put money on. And they know they're driving them out of the homes and having them killing themselves, but they'll just keep taking them because it's just pure profit, pure and simple. They'll even give incentives to keep people betting. So your problem, Jeff, isn't that punter that ran off with the money. It's your bookmakers. You're classed as a bookmaker and you're all tied with the same brush, unfortunately. And it's the high street bookmakers that have given you the problem that you've got now because folk even like myself are always trying to get one up on a bookmaker. We are because we're persecuted. You know, as I've said in the past, I've, I've gone with a bookie, I've gone with the tote and they've, they've virtually closed my account. They've not closed it down. If I send all proof of this, that and the other, I'm back up and running. But I won't send it all. But they've closed it just because of how much I've deposited. But I've took more out than I've deposited but they've not said they said you shouldn't have took it out, you should have left it in. Once you hit a certain limit that you deposit over the space of a year, you have to show more proof of earnings and so on and so forth. And I'm not prepared to do that. And I'm thinking, how can that be when I've taken more out than I've deposited? I'm in front. And they've not stopped me betting because I'm in front because the toe it doesn't matter, it's pool betting. It's just because they've got their rules and that in an actual fact has stopped me betting with them. So I've got it in for the toe along with others who have limited what I can put on and, and, and I'm not a big winner and that's your problem Jeff your problem is the big conglomerates and they're making it bad for everybody else in the betting industry because to a man we're not happy with the betting industry as it is at the moment and I can't see it changing anytime soon if ever unless they do what they do in Oz and make it so all these bookmakers have to take a bet to a certain amount or to a certain loss it's never going to change it's all going the wrong way. It's all going for the way the book is and against the punters. And unfortunately, um, Jeff, one of the punters has won with you. Wrongly. But it's a win and that's why many people are celebrating it. He's got something he shouldn't have done and nobody's calling him for it. Has he done wrong? Yes, I probably think he has, as I said. But I can understand why he's done it. Because he's probably suffered at the end of the proper bookmakers. The biggest, the conglomerates, as I say. And then in a nutshell, is your problem, my old son. You're arcing back to times of old, as I say, where it was about you, us and you, you know, and a handshake and all of that, but you're arcing back because it suits you. But you'll know yourself, you're not the same with the punters, I would imagine, as you were 20, 30 years ago. Bet you're limiting what they can put on and whatever else, and if you think they've got any inside info that you don't know about, you don't want them getting a bet on at all, I bet it's happening. Because I mean, it's happening more and more and more on the rails nowadays. Anyway... That's it. That story covered. That's just my opinion. Most won't agree with me, but that's my opinion. <laughs>